Hey everyone! One of the benefits of using multi-channel pipettes is having multiple channels pipetting simultaneously to increase productivity. Reagent reservoirs are commonly used, but when filled with precious or costly reagent, all scientists have the same question. What is the dead volume? Let's take a closer look how this can be accomplished and exactly how low the dead volume can be. To demonstrate this, Let's start by filling the reservoir with 100 microliters of a food coloring. The food coloring being used is aqueous and slightly viscous. I'll dispense into the 5 ml compartment of the divided reservoir along the ridge, ensuring that the liquid is evenly distributed. Then, Using a Voyager electronic pipette and low retention tips, I'll aspirate the solution back into the eight channels. To reduce the dead volume, not only is the bottom ridge V-shaped, but also has the patented SureFlow anti-sealing array. This allows the tips to aspirate from the very bottom of the reservoir and also that the liquid is evenly distributed throughout the SureFlow microchannels. By pipetting slowly, we're ensuring the liquid to flow evenly through the microchannels. The aspiration's now finished, and you'll notice all tips are filled with liquid. Each channel aspirated 12 microliters, so that gives us a total of 96 microliters, which was successfully aspirated, and only 4 microliters is left as residual dead volume. These reservoirs can also be used for automated protocols with the Assist Plus pipetting robot therefore solving the problem of dead volume for lab automation as well. The dual reservoir adapter is available to accommodate 10 ml reservoirs, 25 ml, or divided reservoirs, allowing storage of up to four different liquids on one deck position of the liquid handling robot. This increases walkaway times, since reagent exchange can be avoided by minimizing the dead volume of reagents used. Even in automation, Integra reservoirs help save time and money. Test it out yourself, or Check out our website for our application note.